In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write test cases for your schemas in Zot. So you've built, you know, uh, this amazing Zot schema, but how do you know it actually works? We don't want to find out in production, right? So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can write, uh, you know, unit tests to put your validation to the test. I'm using vtest to run some quick checks. Uh, we want to verify two things. Number one, good data gets through. Number two, bad data gets blocked. So take a look at this, uh, you know, setup. So the describe block and the two, you know, test cases that I've got in this file. So let's talk about these. Let's talk about the different, uh, you know, portions of this code. Uh, the first thing that I would like to talk about is the describe block itself. So this kind of groups all of our test cases for this specific schema into one neat folder. And then you've got the first test case. It passes with valid data. This is a human readable description of what our uh, you know, expectation is. And then you've got book schema safe parts. So we kind of feed the schema a perfect object that follows all of our rules, like title, author, number, and so on. And then here we've got the expectation. This is the assertion, if you will. Our assertion. I mean, if Zot says success, it means that our test passes. Testing the happy path ensures that your schema isn't too strict and won't accidentally block valid data from, from your users. Always remember that writing test cases takes seconds, but it saves you hours of debugging. It's the final piece of the puzzle for building, you know, bulletproof type safe applications with Zot. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next one as well. Thank you.